So welcome. What I want to do is show you how to graph the function f of x equals 4 times sine of pi x plus pi. So before we try to get into, you know, how do I graph it, what does everything look like, the main important thing is we want to be able to figure out the information in our graph. So the first thing we always want to look into is our amplitude. And remember, our amplitude is going to be the half distance between the maximum and the minimum point of our graph uh, with the y value. So the amplitude, remember, the, ap the formula for amplitude is absolute value of a, which a in this case is 4. So the absolute value of 4 is equal to 4. The next thing we want to determine is the period. Now remember, the period the formula for a period is going to be 2 pi divided by b, and that's going, to take how, that's going to be how long it's going to take for our graph to complete one cycle. So our b in this case is our coefficient of x, which is pi. So I have 2 pi divided by b is the equation. Therefore, our period is going to be 2 pi divided by pi, which is just going to equal 2. The next thing, if you remember our graph, when we looked at the parent function, we want to determine what our critical points are. And so to determine our critical points, our critical points are equal distances away from each other. So I want to find what is that distance between each other. So on our standard, on our parent graph, there was four critical points that we looked at, our maximum, our minimum, and our intercepts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the distance between my critical points. And to do that, all I need to do is take the period the amount of distance that it can take for to complete a cycle and divide it by the four critical points I'm sorry, our period is 2, divided by 4 critical points, which will tell us the distance between each critical point, which is 1 half. Then the next thing I want to do is we're just going to start out by graphing one period. So if you looked at the parent graph, we always start on the parent graph when x equals 0. And on a parent graph, we had a period of 2 pi. However, when we have transformations, that's going to affect the start and the beginning of our initial period. So I'm going to want to write in this, our, see if there's going to be a new starting and ending point. So our start, what we do is take what's inside the function. So I have pi x plus pi equals 0. And then we set the end of our first period equal to pi x plus pi equals 2 pi. Now what we're going to do is we're going to solve for x in both of our instances and see what we get as our new starting and ending point. I might as well just show my work, right? Doing it for everything else. So I divide by pi. So x equals negative 1. And here I'm going to subtract pi. And I get pi x equals pi. Divide by pi. And I get x equals 1. OK, so what we're going to do is I'm going to create a, now my graph. All right, and I'm going to have my starting point, which is right here. My starting point is going to be x equals negative 1. Then I'm going to have four critical points. One, two, three, four. Now remember, between those four critical points, um, the distance between each critical point is 1 half. That means if this is x equals negative 1, this point is negative 1 half. I'll just write negative 1. This point is going to be, add another 1 half, is going to be 0, which will be our y-axis. This point is going to be positive 1 half, and this point will be positive 1. Now you notice that the end point is at 1. So that's going to be my ending point in my first period, and negative 1 is going to be my um, start. Then we look at our amplitude. The next thing is our amplitude. Remember, amplitude is going to be the half distance. So since my graph's not shifting up, the half distance, our graph is cut in half by the x-axis. Therefore, the half distance would just be 4 up. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4. So now looking at our graph, we know that the sine of x, the first thing is if here's our start point, what it first does is goes up to its maximum point, which is the first critical point. Then the next critical point is the x-intercept, 1, 2, 3, 4. It then goes down to its minimum point and then comes right back up. All right, so that's going to be one period of our graph, but we want to make sure, see, make sure we can always graph two periods. So remember, these graphs continue on infinite length, so we want to make sure that we continue them in the positive and also in the negative direction. So what I'm going to do is the next point over here would be negative 1 half. Here it's going to be, uh, uh, I'm sorry, negative 1 half. That would be negative 3 over 2. Here it's going to be negative 2, and then uh, negative 3 over 2 plus 1 half. So then that's going to be a, uh, oh, now I'm starting to get my fractions all uh, messed up, negative 
5 over um, 2. So therefore, to continue my graph, it's going to go down to its next critical point, come back up, up to this max, and then have finish up here, which is going to be at negative 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph two periods of our function 4 times sine of pi x plus pi. Thanks.